We want to play out some scenarios, some really mm. important scenarios that are actually pretty likely with the Lions at the second overall pick. Mm. Here's the deal. We're going to go around the table and assign roles in this whole equation with the Lions. Scott, you will be eventually making the pick, playing the role of Lions GM Brad Holmes. Mm. Okay, Brad Holmes comes from the Rams organization, has been through the thing. Great players he's brought in. That's you. Matt. You get to go for the Oscar as head coach Dan Campbell of the Detroit Lions. How do you feel about that assignment? Yeah, brother. Yeah. I'm so ready right now. Let's go. That is Hulk Hogan oh. and Dan Campbell and Matt Castle. <laughs> and then Kay Adams, you're going to be <laughs> Detroit defensive coordinator. I know. It's going to be that I kind of segment. I don't know what that was, but okay. You're going to be Aaron Glenn. Love Aaron it. Glenn, a beloved player, yes. veteran guy, mm. um, diminutive, but uh, very smart. Right. Should be right at home for you. Okay, now, right. let's see who is already off the board in this hypothetical draft that we're doing. Remember, the Lions are at two. Okay, so Trayvon Walker ends up being the number one pick to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mm. Trent Balky goes with his MO of athleticism and upside. Aiden Hutchinson was not drafted, nor was Ike Aquanu or Evan Neal. We are officially, as the Detroit Lions, on the clock. Oh Those are the best available players. Now we can just jump right into this and make the pick, or hopefully, in this kind of crazy draft, we get some phone calls and maybe some trade offers. In the meantime, uh, sir, how does the room feel to you right now? Well, what happens right now is you have to look at what's on the board, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say Dan and Aaron. I yeah. think we have to go defense. Okay. Absolutely. This is what we talked about in all these other meetings. If we make the pick, who's your guy? Aiden Hutchinson. His yes. motor never stops. It's right. It never stops. It's like, like a shot. This is in character. Uh -huh. It's uncomfortable. All day long, kneecap. I mean, he'll bust your kneecaps. He'll get up after he yes. gets hit. I love this guy. Will he eat kneecaps, though? Okay. He, he might. Like and toenails. I heard he's a to oh. toenail eater. I don't we know. We are at three but, kneecap mentions, uh, but I, I, I hope someone paid the phone bill, because this is usually yeah. when we do this exercise. I agree. Normally when the phone Aiden rings. Aiden Hutchinson. Maybe. Oh. oh, no. Okay. He's calling Wait, that. this might be my parole officer. Brad, who's calling? <laughs> I mean, it is. Brad, that's your business. Right, who's calling? Whatever you like. <laughs> Lions. Detroit. It's uh, the Jets. It's Joe Douglas here. Gosh, I, we got to get our hands on this Hutchinson. He's a sure thing. We will trade you the fourth overall pick and the 69th overall pick. The fourth and the 69th to move up two spots to the second. You guys, I don't know who you want to take, but you could probably get him at four. And you also would get our 69th overall pick. Basically, we're throwing you a freebie here, guys. What do you say? <laughs> hey, Joe, I appreciate it. That doesn't sound like Joe. Oh, really? I'm, gonna say. Like I'm just going to say. Florham Park area code. Here's the deal. Uh, the Jets get the second overall pick. You gentlemen uh, would be getting the fourth and the 69th. And, and Miss, uh, Mr. Glenn, um, <laughs> I forgot. Gentlemen, they're gentlemen. They are, all three. They are. Uh, so, guys, take it away. What do you think? Here's the first thing. They told us who they're going to take. They right. want to take our guy. Mm -hmm. So now we have to think about this. We what value. We know if we go back from two to four, our player's not there. But in return, they're only offering pick number 69. Mm -hmm. It's simply not enough. Frankly, urgency. I'm insulted. I know I'm you're going to say, Glenn, go hang out in the defensive room and don't care about this. But the value of Aiden Hutchinson as a sure thing player, I want the four and I want the 10. Mm. And I, I want, want his both. leadership in the building. That is the guy that we need to help build this program, take us in the right direction. Look, he's going to come off the edge and he's going to be a dominant pass rusher for us for years to come. This is a number that, two overall pick we're talking about. Uh, absolutely. It's just not enough currency. Mm -hmm. They're not giving us enough in return. Uh, they're sitting there. They've also no. got in the uh, uh, around uh, 35, uh, 38. Oh, Brad, I want, I want we have Joe another or, call. Wow. There's before. no caller ID because right. the phone is from 1986. Because this has got to be better. Let's here we go. We can get something better here. Lions. Detroit, how you doing? It's the New York Giants and new general manager Joe Shane. Uh, I want that second overall pick. I'm going to offer you the seventh overall pick, but we're also going to give you two veteran players that can help you guys right away, which you desperately need. How about James Bradbury and Sterling Shepard, in addition to the seventh overall pick for your number two pick? We'd have the number two pick and the number five pick. We'd feel great there. And we're going to give you Bradbury and Sterling. Two pros and a top ten pick for the number two. What do you say? Joe, I'm going to give you a holler back. All right, that's Joe. this is Joe's first draft as GM, so he's coming in aggressive. aggressive. Couple of players, all you have to do is slide back five selections from the second to the seventh. What say you, Detroit Lions brand trust? Well, here's the first thing. The first thing we have to do is make sure, let's get our research people real quick to look at the contracts for Shepard and Bradbury. Right, I right. believe they're in the I last know. year of the contract. So really, 
They're giving us one pick and two ham sandwiches. Well, good thing right, we're competing we're in the NFC guys. North. Uh, no, we're not. I don't want veteran <laughs> players. I want young players. I don't even know that I want our quarterback this year. I don't like it. And veteran players but. that are, we only have for a year. For a year, and then we've got to pay, and then no, we've got to start all over again. They potentially hit free agency. So, yeah, I'm still Aiden Hutchinson all the way. Uh, Coach, what do you think Aiden Hutchinson eats for breakfast, Dan Campbell? What do you think? Mm. Steak and eggs every morning. Steak, steak and eggs. eggs. Steak and eggs. You know, supposed to say quarterbacks. Oh, quarterbacks too. <laughs> All right, so listen, we like this guy that much. And can I ask you, can I ask you, uh, Brad, how much does this, the idea that he played at Michigan and where in Michigan, does that play any role at all or is that just cutesy stuff that's well, a little dollop it, on top? It doesn't really to the football operation. You just want to get the football, the best football player. However, as part of the relationships yes. within your building, it's an important thing. The president, you know, Rod Wood is going to be very happy yeah, Sheila is going to be right. very happy if they have someone who's a Michigan person that they can sell. Hold on, though. Uh -oh. They might not get it. Uh oh. Wow. Maybe it is the Giants calling back impatiently, but why don't you take, find or out? Or maybe the Jets actually coming up maybe with a so. real offer. Brad Holmes, general manager. Lions. Detroit, it's the Kansas City Chiefs and Brett Veach here. Here's our offer 29th overall pick, the 30th overall pick. And our offensive tackle, Andrew Wiley, who would start right away for you guys. 29 and 30, but also Andrew Wiley, a day one starter for your team for that number two overall pick. What do you say? Two first rounders and a starting tackle. Gosh, sounds like a good offer from my side. <laughs> they always do. Talk to you soon, Brad. You got to be careful of those Chiefs GMs, don't you, Brad Holmes? You never know what is up their sleeve. In this case, you're going to have to move way back from 2 to 29, but you go back-to-back -back picks, and you get a quality starter in Andrew Wiley. Does this do anything for you? I'd say does it blow your hair back, but that doesn't apply. What do you got, uh, Brad Holmes? What do you have? Blow my hair back? Yes. Are we really going there yes. this early in the morning? Brad Holmes. That, that's hurtful. You're Brad Holmes, buddy. We already have a pick man. 32. We don't want to dominate the back end of the first round. We really don't. So we've already got that pick. Going back that far, and again, Andrew Wiley, we're talking about another player who's in the last Gosh. year of his contract. Mm -hmm. We are giving up first-round picks, rent control, right? When you pick a, a first-rounder or a, a rookie player, you have rent control, so to speak, on the player. We're getting a... I don't know. If you I got more, it's team. multiple picks, though. So multiple you may, uh, you know, to take take us out of this for a second, we're talking about the Jets. You said acquire more. There's so many holes. Move down. Same kind of thing with the Lions, right? But you're saying that that two spots more premium, we mm -hmm. should get more. Correct. It is too far to move back, right? Yeah, to get because the difference between player number two, three, or four versus 29, mm -hmm. 30, mm -hmm. 31, 32, yeah. mm -hmm. there is a gap there. Maybe too there's far not a drop. great difference between two and ten. Okay. But what do you think? I, we've got to make I mean, a decision. You're Where the head you coach. Dan, you want this come guy? On. You want to move back? Make a decision, Dan. I do not want to move back. I want Aiden Hutchinson on my team. Like I said from day one, this is a guy that will come and be an immediate impact player. I know I've, I've lost my voice for, for Dan Campbell here, but at the end of the day, that's hard to keep <laughs> it's up. It's hard to keep up. It's hard, like, do, 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 before, coach, before you make your final choice, espresso. let's just make sure we look at these trade offers one more time. This is a big deal. We it's never want deal. to be back here at two again. We have trade offers in. I think we can show them. We're moving back to the fourth. We're moving back to the 29th. We're moving back to the seventh. They're pretty solid, guys. I mean, some of them, I don't see a lot of love at the table. Again, Jets. the Jets called. That does nothing for us, I guess. Not, not even to move back from two to four. Coach Glenn, you said you would want the 10 thrown in if you're going to move up to Give two. Give me the four and 10 and we'll talk. Aaron. All right. They haven't called back. The Lions offer Disrespect. Sterling Shepard, but here our GM, Brad Holmes, jumped right to the ass Jeeves and said they're both in the final year of their contracts, he believes. So that's just, that's not doing us anything. And so is Andrew Wiley. So I feel like they're trying to fish hook you guys. Do any of these on a one last lap around appeal to you or are we taking the number two pick? Aaron. What can you do with Aiden Hutch? Does he mm. make a difference on your mm. defense? Is Listen, he dynamic enough to make it? Uh, absolutely. We're talking okay. about a piece we can build around. We're talking about that division with Aaron Rodgers and company, a young piece, uh, that kind of talent, a safe bet in this draft where we don't know who's going to go. And the fact that we all agree, I can't imagine most front offices are like, that's the guy. That in and of itself, the removal of that headache is great. Don't ask. I'm over here thinking about Jeff Okuda. You guys figure out what's going on. <laughs> Somebody needs to. Somebody needs uh, to. Coach, that coach, Bradbury trade word. was appealing. I've, I've, I've banged my hand on the table for this guy since day one. I mean, it, he's a pre premier pass rusher in this league. He had 14 sacks. He's going to be a guy that's not just good on the field and impactful there, but as, as we know, he's a team captain. He's a guy that will come in mm -hmm. and help with the culture and what we're trying to build here, and we need strong leadership at that position and really in, inside our building with our team. And he's a total 
culture fit. We've made the decision. We know. Everyone here knows exactly whee, what the whee, best whee. thing is. No trade. You stay with the number no two trade. pick. You know what? Get on the phone. Hey. Let's talk to Ken Fiore at the league office. Give him the name Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson, Aiden Hutchinson going Hutchinson. to the Detroit Lions with the number two overall pick. Excuse me. Yes. What would you have done? Um, I would have taken him. I would have taken Aiden? him number one at Jacksonville. I love Aiden. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't like Aiden Hutchinson. I love him. And I feel like I'm in the minority. But he got some love at this table. If this Kyle's segment. in that draft room, he is hitting the ceiling the second they pass on Aiden Hutchinson. And that, you, that's the biggest value in the world to you to get that guy. I'm hitting the ceiling. And then he's, uh, he's uh, hitting Aaron Rodgers. In the and then you're hitting the table. <laughs> Let's go. Vegas.